welcome everyone investigating large business today we are going to discuss about the question number three of this paper if you refer in my video series you can see question number one and question number two is there already in my channel you can watch you can subscribe my channel you can continue you can share and like and especially i thank you for my audience to encourage me to do these videos especially some people's asking me to do the question number three and four quickly okay so today i'm going to discuss the question number three of this paper large business uh question number three okay the same case study we're using the next as a case study the next is the uh the service sector business uh they are doing some agriculture like organic farm and also they are going to uh, they are introducing this business organization. You can see in my description, you can see it's a well-known clothing retailer, uh, which is established in 70 countries and employs over the four to 3,000 employees. So since the next comments to trading, it has introduced many of other products. It's a range such as home interiors, flowers, wedding lists. So again, I'm reminding you, you can go again and again this case study because all these questions are based on this case study. So it's a well-known clothing retailer operating in 70 different countries. Therefore, it's a multinational company, employ four to 3,000 employees. And in 1999, they launched their online shopping platform, enabling customers to purchase their products wherever they live. And it continues to improve its customer service by introducing new initiatives such as next day delivery service. And it mainly uses their own factories for production that on label brands and everything or whoever is purchase some clothes especially ladies items ladies dresses from turkish factories okay so let's go to the uh, the question number three of this paper this question paper only consists four questions which carries 20 mark each uh, so this question number three is basically uh, including a uh, six marker and one nine marker question is there okay let's go to the question number three Next works hard to remain competitive with other retailers of similar products. Define the term economies of scale. The defined question is normally set up for the AO1 knowledge base. You know, economies of scale mean production management, operation management, we identify. When the firm expand their size, the average cost will fall eventually. When the firm expand the size of the operations, the average cost will fall as a result of economies of scale. It can be come from uh, internal economies of scale and external economies of scale. So that is really important. So definition of economies of scale, the falling average cost when the firms expands as usually we are referring. The market scheme answer you can see when average cost fall as a result of a business increasing its size. When average cost falls as a result of business increasing its size, we can define as economies of scale. Okay, but B, outline one reason why next uses special offers. Usually, if you think this is a billionaire's mindset, like we don't think about this uh, it's next mindset, this is a multinational company, a large business operates. So why they have to give special offers? This comes from the marketing questions, marketing, right? Because these people wanted to, this business company want to promote their sales. They can attract more customers, especially clothing sector. That's why especially special offers are there sometimes, seasonal offers, right? Stock clearance sales like that. One reason they're asking why they are using special offers. So mainly you can see to attract the customers to buy their clothes, sometimes to get rid of their all stocks of clothes. You can say anything, outline question. So keep in mind one mark for the point and one mark for the application. So special offers they're using, especially attraction of the customers. And there can be some, some other answers. You can see marking scheme is let's go. So they say next have special offers to encourage customers to purchase clothes. So what's the application point here? To purchase clothes. And the development point you can see since it's outline question, once they have purchased dress using a special offer, they may return to purchase others. Once they have purchased dresses using a special offer, they may return to purchase others. That's the main one reason there can be, they say, accept any other appropriate response. There can be thousands of answers using special offers to attract customers to buy clothes, right? If they purchase dresses using a special offer, special promotion, they may return to purchase other items as well. Right? So linking is really important. They have linked to the clothing sector 
they can see special offers they are promoting sometimes to get the increase their market share of the clothes because then people will attract it to the next brand without going to other brands such as uh, Mark and Spencer, H&M, similar brands, right? So that can be another reasons. And we're going to calculate question here. It's a pretty easy calculation questions. Of next 43,000 employees, 70% are women. Calculate the number of women working at next. You are advised to show your working. So it's very pretty easy calculation. 43,000 into 70%, right? Use your calculator and you can work it out. 43,000 multiplied by 70%. We can say for 43,000 multiplied by 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So answer will be coming 30,100. 30,100. But always in my student, I'm always advising you because there's huge space given for you to do a working, show your working. They, in Vapos Day, you advise to show your working. But even if you just write the correct answer in, the, in this blank, you are giving two marks in IGCSC as well as AS, A2, all calculations, right? We are giving, without workings, we are giving marks. That's a normal edX way. We are giving marks. Even the answer is correct, we are giving the full marks. But it's a precautionary thing. It's very, the safe side, you can show the workings for your answer, it's better. So I'll show you the answer here in the market scheme. So you can see here, calculation is pretty easy calculation. For 3,000 to 0 0.7, which is 70%, it is 30,100. So therefore, out of 43,000, 70% of uh, uh, the female workers, 30,100. Okay, now we are going to a, a six mark analyze question. You can see, analyze next, why next would want to remove any communication barriers within its organization. Now, usually communication is a part of a human resource management, a person's management, the business organization. We have to have a good communication link with the different layers of the organization within employees, Internal communication should be better, external communication should be better, but there can be barriers of communication can become, especially this is a multinational company. Think from this business angle, this from this, uh, the next business model. They are operating in 70 countries. They might have different languages. There can be language barriers, different time zones, different cultures. So you can talk about that. So then if you have this kind of a thing, if you can remove this language barrier, if you can have them use some common platform to communicate, which communication become very easy. Sometimes you can use a like EDI system, electronic data transfer, interchange something. So you can electronically like you can use emails, everything. That's why you are using as a commercial language. It's English language in most of the business organizations. But there can be some country like China, Korea, Hong Kong. They're using their own language. Japan, right? So, but usually in the business world, the use of English language you're using as a method of communication, communication barrier. You have to write that. And also another point you can see how another method that you can remove barrier is a de-layering. Remove the layer, reduce the hierarchy. Then you can make your communication more faster and easier. So let's look at the marking scheme answer, how this kind of analyzed question they are answering. So analyzed question is we are giving AO2 application three marks and analysis three marks. So AO2 here application, uh, why next wanted to remove any communication barrier as next trades in different countries, it will therefore need to employ to speak language of that country, especially 70 countries they are working, operating. So therefore different countries, different languages. Look at the analysis point there by speaking the language of the customer, the staff can communicate and make it easier to increase the sales. That's important in a business model, kind of a, like a marketing trick because you have to always think like a customer. You normally say, where are the customer shoes? Then you can think like a customer. So then mean you have to learn the customer language, right? That means the owner doesn't need to learn the language. You can hire like workers. You can hire employees who know the local language very well or who can speak, speak multiple languages. Then you can easily demonstrate some clothes fashion necessaries to the customers in their own language. They'll be happy and delighted. Easier to increase the sales. Moreover, if Next has long chain of command, it could mean that the message from head office may take long time to reach the shop assistants. Therefore, what they can do, the suggestions, the communication could be more unclear 
and inaccurate on this way through the chain of command leading to errors. That's why shorten the chain of command is better than having a long chain of command because when you're passing a message to 70 countries or head office to other countries and it's come to shop it will take long time and it will be delayed. So it's urgent communication. Sometimes you can't make the full uh, effective communication you can't do because it will take some time to reach the message to the uh, bottom level of the stuff. Therefore, that's a one method, right? They, why would they want to remove any barrier like that? Because they can, those delays and everything can be removed. So what are the two points there? Language barrier they can remove by speaking their own local language. You can, so therefore customer can understand, you can give a better customer service satisfaction. And moreover, by removing language barriers, by removing communication barriers, like reducing long chain of command, we shorten them off. The messages can be reached from the next head office to other countries, like a shop assistant, you can easily reach that thing. So message will be, as a result of that very clear and accurate. Otherwise, what, what happens if communication can become unclear and inaccurate on its way through the chain of command lead into error. I hope you understand that, uh, understood this concept. So normally we are going to last question, nine marker question of the question number three, right? Part E, nine marker question. This time nine marker question came from another person management or human resource management part, right? job rotation versus job enrichment. You know, this part comes under motivation section. Both methods are non-financial motivation techniques. But the question, next understand that some employees are motivated by non-financial methods. And these may help the employees retention to keep them working. To do this, next consider in the following two options. Option one, job rotation. Option two, job enrichment. Job rotation, you know, you can, transfer to different different departments like uh, since it's a clothing retailer international you can see the shop floor workers sometimes you can see the design side you can see the customer side you can see the manufacturing sector like certain section job rotation means you can change the uh, the workstation of a worker time to time as a result you can get overall knowledge of the business organization and boredom can reduce the monotony can reduce these are the main good and bad However, worker will be in a stress why? Because he had to change his works time to time. On the other hand, job enrichment is a different thing, giving more authority like responsibility for the person. Job enrichment. Job enrichment, we call something like a vertical loading of responsibility, different types of layers, like different, you can use the example like from next, but they can do. So anyway, when you're writing a nine mark question, the acceptor structure will be select one option either option one or two, don't select both. Select one option, right? No need of definition, right? Two advantages and two disadvantages, two positives, two negatives. No need a conclusion either, right? So let's look at the marking scheme answer for these options, what they can give, job enrichment <clears throat> and job rotation. Option one, they say the job rotation, the application point, by offering job rotation, the employees may get to experience in different jobs, moving from stockroom or working in the shop floor. So as I told you, shop floor workers can go to the <clears throat> stockrooms, warehouse, sometimes manufacturing plants, sometimes the customer service desk, sometimes for the accounting branch, like this, you can say, you can it's all about your imagination about next, right? Think that you are the owner of the next, right? the clothing retail, then you can find out what are the divisions in your organization with 70 different countries, they operate in multinational clothing retail, right? And as a result of that, what happened, job rotation, employees may feel that the working, might the experience of moving from stockroom to the shop floor gives the additional skills and knowledge, which can be used within next. Additional skills and knowledge you can get. That's AO3. Look at the AO4. However, these new experiences and skills may mean that employees could decide to look for other jobs other than remaining employed by next, right? However, these new experiences and skills may be mean that employee could decide to look for other jobs than remaining employed by the next. Because why? Because when you are becoming like a skillful sometimes employees, 
people who work for money, right? And this is what happened when you increase your skills, that means their capacity will increase, their employability will increase. They will like to search in other jobs which pay them more salary. That's the human nature, right? So on the other hand, job enrichment, the second point, both are non-financial methods of motivation, they ask. It's a really pretty good question. You can see that kind of a question in like a, in the past, it's a very, uh, it's a very new question. Uh, so job enrichment, right, AO2, uh, next employees may find that utilize their skills of displaying the furniture and child clothes in their shop window. This application. Job enrichment means giving kind of like additional responsibility, utilize their skills of displaying. For what? Displaying the furniture, displaying the child clothes in their shop windows. Right? Utilize their skills. Moreover, look at the evaluation point, analysis point, the employees will be able to use the new skills to display products in applying for different jobs, either within next or at another business. So as a result of that, what happened? That this product displays another technique. It's like a science behind, like a small, like it's like art, product display, demonstration, pitching. It's really important. That's why you can use that knowledge in other businesses as well. Not only textile, it can be a showroom, it can be a studio, it can be a uh, any other showroom, like, you know, it can be a craftsman, like a craft place, like it can be some kind of like a place you sell gift items, shoes, bags, like that. Yeah. So as a result of that, what happened? However, the drawback of this, right, this could incur additional cost for next, of time and training of the employees, because job enrichment also, Take some time. Need additional, like a cost you have to incur. Even what's the however point of the job rotation? These experience and skills mean that the employee could decide to look for other jobs and remain employed by the next. So job rotation, what happened? People will go into jump into other jobs. Job enrichment is a little costly because it takes some time to train their workers. So this is the end of the question number three. Right. Question number three, we talk about the uh, one six marker and one nine marker question. In my next video, you can expect the question number four, which includes the 12 marker question. So stay tuned with my channel. Please subscribe and share. Thank you for watching my channel and encouraging me to do more videos. Thank you, my fans. Thank you, my viewers. I warmly welcome your comments uh, to encourage me. So stay tuned with me, with my channel. So I'll give you more videos like this educational videos to help you to study your info examination. That's the whole point of my this exam. It's a uh, video series. So thank you very much for stay tuned with me uh, and waiting for the next video, which is question number four of the large business paper. Thank you very much.